Hello everybody, welcome back to Bayonetta Origins, A Raise on the Lost Demon. My name is Melody Siren and today we're going to be continuing our time trial walkthroughs of all the turninogs in this game. So we have a uh, plunging down on this episode, which is like a slide, um, it's, one, uh, it's like a slide turninog. Um, in the original there is a bunch of stuff that is kind of hanging off ledges, so I'm assuming that that is going to be that is going to be like kind of the difficult part about this is grabbing those without falling off the edge um, and as well as that uh, in the previous one we did off the rails and so we beat that by just over five seconds this is a 20 second timer this is the shortest timer I believe of the entire of all of them the second shortest we've had is 25 seconds which was this one um, typically with the obstacle ones, the timer is like super super tight. Like for instance, protection, which is an enemy based one, we beat by almost 30 seconds. And then off the rails, which is an obstacle based one, we beat by about 5 seconds. And we've had other ones, this is obstacle based, we beat it by 7 seconds. But a lot of the enemy based ones has a lot more potential to, to have better times. But the obstacle ones are kind of, you have to be pretty frame perfect, typically. Uh, I haven't practiced this yet, um, so it may take me multiple attempts. In the, the timestamps, there should be the first attempt, and then also the platinum attempt that I have to do. So uh, if you want, you can skip ahead to the platinum attempt and just attempt to like follow my footsteps. Um, or you could follow along from right now and maybe pick up some tips and tricks along the way with me. Alright, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into plunging down. Okay. So, in the original there is a chest behind us. I don't imagine there will be in this one. Um, there is not. The ch there is usually a chest right here, but there is no there is no timer currently, so there's no reason for there to be a chest there. Um, but here is where the time starts. And so what you do is you jump, you go on this, the accordance brings you up, and then you are sliding for the rest of the level. All right. So, without further ado, let's go plunging down. Okay. You do go faster by holding out Chesh if you have that upgrade. So, um, if you have that upgrade, make sure to be holding Chesh out. Mr. Clock. Miss two clocks, oh my gosh. I don't know if there's gonna be like a 20 second clock, but we're we're gonna need it. You might need to get every clock in order to in order to beat it, but we'll see. So right now we're 10 seconds short based on clocks. 15. Okay, we have one fall. We have one fall and we missed three clocks. Four clocks. Five clocks. Two falls and we missed five, or actually. Uh, it reset us, so we might. Nope, we still we're still missing five clocks. Uh, oh my gosh, this is a sad attempt, but we need to keep going so we can. There we go, so we can make sure that we can. We is there any way to slow down? Whoa, it doesn't look like it. Maybe that doesn't speed us up. I thought it did. All 
I really tried for that. I don't think it does, actually. I changed my mind. Yeah, so let's not just have... I feel like Chesh being out is kind of uh, tricking our mind a little bit. So let's only have Chesh out when there's a clock present. I almost fell off right there because I was trying to look ahead. Oh, okay. You need to have Chesh out there or you'll miss that clock. that one missed that one or we got it and and fell this was actually one that it let me it let me fall wait if it let me fall that makes me think that there's a that makes me think that there's a, a big part that we can skip because that let me fall pretty far No skipping. Okay, that we we need to have Chesh behind us. And then for this, there's no reason to not have Chesh just like help us cover the entire platform. Okay. So obviously that was terrible, but that was our first attempt, okay? That was our first attempt, and we were still testing stuff out. So let's let's go ahead and give it another try. A little annoying. It doesn't put us right here. Well, technic, did we click retry? Yeah, we clicked retry. So it's a little disappointing it put us back there. I would have rather be on the line. Okay. So no timer here. We lost a little bit of time by doing that weird skip. Okay. Yeah, no big deal, no big deal. Okay, we need Chesh out. I'm, a, I'm pretty sure Chess needed to be to the left here. It's to the right. Left Chesh. Oh, okay, we missed one clock so far. And we fell off the edge. There is no large... There is no large clocks on this. So like, the clocks that give you 20 seconds. Uh, we're obviously not going to get it on time, but we want to... We just want to keep trying to... Um, Get, to get more practice. I don't want to practice anymore. <laughs> I don't want to practice anymore. Um, I think if we fall off, it's an instant retry. If we miss, um, if we miss clocks, we'll keep going. Did that same little skip right there that costs us a second. Okay, there we go. Fell off the edge. Retry. Wait, how far back did that put us? Yeah, it put us pretty far. Let's retry. Glit the camera glitched out again. It really does not like retrying these turn logs. I really did think it sped you up, but I think I don't think so anymore. 
Oh, come on. I deserved that. Okay, we're, we're currently missing... We're down one clock so far. We'll see if you can recover from... We'll count up how many clocks we miss along the way, and then we'll see if we can recover that. Ugh. We'll keep going. That felt bad because I actually felt really good about that part. can't fall twice for sure if we fell okay we'll add one more stipulation if we fall once close to where we respawn then then we'll keep going but if it's like a great distance or if we fall twice then we'll stop Thing that I'm doing right now is I'm trying to like I'm trying to minimize how many times I press the button as if that's going to make me go faster which is not true I should actually just always have my finger like I should always be moving Cereza at least a little bit back and forth because um, that way I don't get complacent with the angle that I'm currently going at because if I'm like, oh yeah, I don't need to, I don't need to go, uh, like I don't need to move the uh, thumbstick, then that'll lead me to uh, falling off unnecessarily. Ooh, no clocks missed in the first part. And we know we need to hold chest to the right. Oh, okay. See, look, that was a fall relatively close to the clock. So we can keep going. We missed one clock so far. Oh, need to take that turn tighter. God, I keep, I keep either going too tight or too wide, which are the two options, so surprising, surprisingly, that makes sense. Still try to test out. I still try to test out if if holding Cheshire forward is faster. I am almost certain it's not, so I need to stop doing that because it is confusing me. It is faster here though. But that you guys see that? That was cool. That's how you run into the spring and mess up your time right at the start. Fun interaction, um, if you dodge with Cereza into the spring, then she doesn't jump and that ruins your time trial run. Like that. Oh, that worked that time. Alright. No clocks on this part. Okay, now we want to hug the right wall to get the first clock. Bam. Go left. Okay, we got it. Okay. Feeling good, feeling good. 
Now we need to hold chest to the right to make sure we get this clock. Okay, we've missed one clock there. We tend to miss that clock, so we need to get a better strategy for that, which we can test out right now. So I think there's one clock right there, one clock there, yeah. I need to practice the path that I'm actually supposed to take. There we go. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna retry. Just wanted to get one more attempt in uh, following the correct path there. Dodging there, I think, actually might shave off like 0 .01 seconds. I do that so often, I need to stop. Ugh, almost messed that up. Did mess that up, shoot. Alright, so we're down one clock. That means we need to try to not miss a clock in this first part. Although we still don't know how much time we have to spare at the end, because we've never made it to the end with an honest attempt. Ugh, we missed that turn again. Ah, oh, I'm those two spots. I I never hug. I never hug the right enough to get the uh, to get one of the clocks, and I always fall off the edge in that position so we need to just make sure that we go we go further to the right there I want fire Cheshire doesn't do anything I don't think but does green Cheshire have more reach don't think so There might be one that, like, secretly has a better hitbox, but I don't think, I think it's probably negligible. I just want the color. I want, I want green. Because I think green, um, opposes the background enough to make it easier to see where Cheshire is. I do that every time. There are two really bad habits I have. I have the first one is jumping in that first hole. Or there's three really bad ha habits I have. First one is jumping in that first hole. The second one is um, not going too far enough to the right at that next part. And then the third one is falling off the ledge right after the part I was talking about. And then our problem is we then try to overcorrect and we try to overcorrect and then miss, um, miss the clocks because we're too scared that we're gonna fall off. That's fine, that little skip there is fine. Okay, so we should be at that platform by 15 seconds. There we go. Come on! We'll keep going. Every time, we're never gonna do it. Okay, this isn't terrible. It's not that great, but it's not terrible. There's probably a clock here that we really should be skipping. Like, it's probably costing us more time to get than it is to get it. Uh, 
I mean, really, it's five seconds, so I doubt it. But again, see, like that clock right there. If we didn't go for it, then we wouldn't have fallen off the edge. And then the question is, if we didn't fall off the edge there, would we have beaten it in the proper time? Well, let's see if we can do it. There is a lot of clocks here at the end. I don't know how many. There might be four. So first we need Cheshire that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, give me one more, give me one more. Nope, we lost by five seconds. Ugh, we lost by five seconds. If we didn't fall, then we would have done it. And I think we also, we were actually like around six to seven seconds short. So getting a clock, like picking up a clock that we missed wouldn't have mattered. It's really that, that fall that killed us. I think we did miss a clock. I think we missed one clock and we fell once. So I think we can survive one fall as long as long as it's not a dramatic fall, like that sends us way back. And then also as long as um, we have all the clocks. We do need to retry though, because that was bad. But those, I'm also, I'm gonna not, <laughs> I'm still testing out, I'm still testing out whether holding out Cheshire, um, uh, does something. Officially holding out Cheshire does not do something, I timed it. <laughs> but feel free to hold Cheshire out the whole time, um. You don't want to get complacent with not having Cheshire out because you want to grab, you want to make sure he's out to grab the clocks. Okay. Forgot which way to hold Cheshire. I'm pretty sure we're holding him to the right here. Yep, hold him out to the right. Okay, hold him to the left. Fell off the edge. Okay, we're going to try to keep going here. I think we can do it. The game was not friendly to me there. I definitely was in range of, of that clock. Okay, and you guys also saw my character stutter. Sad turn of events, sad turn of events. That was, the last part wasn't a glitch, it's just, um, I was hoping I would be able to make it on that ledge, but I tripped a few times. I do feel like that first one we should have been able to grab, but again, it's not a glitch, it's just a case of um, smaller hitboxes that I would appreciate. It seems like the fastest you can get to that third spring, quote unquote third, th third spring, is 16 seconds. Okay, then this spring, you want to hit about 14 and a half seconds, then 18 and a half seconds. After you pick up this clock, you should be at 24 and a half seconds. Missed one clock, we can still do it. Not if we fall off there, though. Okay, but we fell off, but now we have a chance to get all the clocks. I think we can still do it. If we get all of the clocks and we don't fall off again, I think we can do it. Get that one. Stay to the left. Stay to the left. Oh my gosh. I should have stayed all the way to the left because there was a wall there. I expected this to be a lot harder, though. I think... it. The thing is, it's possible. When you make, like, I'm making mistakes, but they're, like, mistakes on my part, I think that the time, the timing is nice enough to where we can do it. It's kind of like speedrunning a, um, an auto-scroller. Um, 
where it's like the pressure isn't on you to the pressure isn't on you to like make the character go faster. All you have to do is like well well timed skill skill based um, to make sure that you don't die along the way and get any pickups that you need. It seemed like we lost a split second right at the start when we were getting to the, um, when we were getting, yeah, we lost about half a second when we were getting to the first spring. I'm not sure what happened that we lost, like, I'm not sure what happened that made us go slower than usual, but, uh, we did. So yeah, we're, we're actually about a quarter of a second behind our previous time. Okay, so after you get off this spring, you want to hold uh, right on the left thumbstick. Okay, so then we go left, right, left, right, hold right. Okay, we fell off. We fell off, but we can still uh, make it back. Also, another int interesting interaction is that sometimes we just spawn and run straight into a wall. Um, I think that is just another classic case of, of like the retrying. Um, issues in the previous levels. Okay, we can't fall off twice. Cannot fall off twice. It might be possible, but it's just not a time that I'm comfortable with. We give ourselves one time falling off, and I think we can give ourselves two clocks. I don't think we're going to beat it with less with, um, if we miss two clocks, but um, I want to see where we're at if we miss two clocks, but we can only fall off once, and it has to be a non—it has to be a non-drastic fall off. We can't fall off right before a quote-unquote checkpoint. Okay, we're doing great. What are we at right here? Eighteen and a half. Perfect. Then as we discussed, if you pick this up, you should be at just about 24 and a half seconds. Okay, we missed one clock. But we didn't fall off in our normal fall off places. That was another place that we usually fall off. Okay. We're hitting this jump pad at 13 and a half seconds. Okay, I didn't want to risk falling off there, so I avoided that, that last one. I think we can do it. Pretty much for this part, I just have Chesh cover like as much surface area as possible. Okay, we are at... We did it. Like 19 point... 19.99. So, <laughs> we did... <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. We did exactly... I don't know if you get if you get 20 seconds if it would actually give you platinum maybe it would but so we did just be, just before the platinum time I believe we missed two clocks but we didn't fall off a single time I personally I think you can if you fall off once you need to get all of the clocks if you if you don't fall off you can miss two clocks and that's the maximum but if you get all the clocks and you don't fall off, I think that you can beat this with like 10 seconds on the timer. All right, but yeah, let's go ahead and back up and see what the next turninog is gonna be for the following video. 
All right, so that was plunging down that we beat in 19.99 seconds, which uh, had a minimum time to beat of 20 seconds. So beat it by literally like just a hair. Um, thank you guys for joining. I had a lot of fun with that one and had a crazy ending with that 0 .01 uh, timer. Um, and in the next one, we are going to do the final trap the final Turninog time trial, which is Cursed Chains. This one has a minute and 15 seconds on the clock, um, and it is an enemy, is an enemy one. Uh, they can only be attacked while you have Thornbind on them. All right, but again, uh, thank you guys for joining, and I hope to see you the next one. And also, I hope you have a good day or night, whatever time zone you're in. All right, again, hope to see you in the next one.